Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Big Fish Lad, and today we're gonna do a fish tank tour of one tank at my friend's house, David and Katie's. Now, obviously, we're in a lockdown and I can't go out, so we're gonna do it virtually. Now, just to, to give you a bit of context on David and Katie, I met David and Katie probably five years ago now through the hobby and we became good friends and we've been to each other's house quite a lot of times. We've actually swapped and bought fish off each other loads of times. But I love David's tanks in his house. He's got a fantastic setup. And if you saw my American Cichlid community setup their video, David's tank was featured in that. Now, we talked a long time ago when I started YouTube that I would go to his house and do a tour of his tanks. It's never materialised, but... In the last few months, his partner Katie has had a Severum tank built, and it's, oh my God, guys, it's stunning. And I'm not going to get there anytime soon. So you know what? We've done other things virtually, so we're going to do this virtually. So I asked David for some footage, and I'm going to talk through the footage on what they've got in there, a little bit about their setup, and some, some fun facts about the Severum cichlid as well. So just before we head over to check this tank out, I need to apologise. Well, I don't even need to apologise or not about these caps because I live in the UK and I collect baseball caps. And I look, well, they were called baseball caps, but they can feature American football teams or baseball teams and stuff like that, even even basketball teams. And I collect them and I love the American vibe. But I get a lot of stick off my friends in the states because they give me stick because obviously if I was over in the States, I'd be seen as a bit of a turncoat because it'd be like in this country wearing United and City or Arsenal and Tottenham. So I apologise to my friends in the States, but I do collect these baseball caps, so I do apologise. But when I was a kid, I used to love the American football and I was an LA Raiders fan. So there you go. If I had to pick someone, and I don't even think it, it, they don't even exist anymore as LA Raiders, do they? But anyway, I'm gibbering on. So yeah, sorry guys. But I'm going to keep wearing these baseball caps. Um, anyway, I'll tell you what. Let's head over to the Severn tank. Because believe me, guys, you're going to love it. Okay, so check it out. This tank is unbelievable, guys. Honestly. Um, like I said, I would love to have took you to the house for David and Kate's house. Because there's more in there. There's other tanks and stuff. And, you know, you've briefly seen David's uh, other tank on the American Cichlid tank video that I did. But this is Katie's Severn tank. Now, believe me when I say, you're going to find it hard to find a better Severum tank than this. So, the tank is 42 inches long, 30 inches wide, and 30 inches high. It's unbelievably big. It's, that's about 620 odd litres. And it's just massive when you think it's only 42 inches long. However, check the Sevs out. I mean, the stocking of Severums in this tank is unreal. So, you've got three... Red Tiger Sevs. Now check the Red Tiger Sevs out. They are stunning. They are absolutely stunning. Um, there's two in Aride, one Natatus, one Empendiculatus, one Rio ne two Rio Negro SPs. I mean that is a list of Severums, and most of them are wild. What a beautiful, beautiful list of Severums. And I mean, as you can see, look at look at the Red Tiger Severum there. It's massive. I think it's fully grown. I mean, that Red Tiger Sever has been going for a long time. For as long as I've known David anyway, he's, he's always had that. He even came here for a while and went back. Um, but yeah, there is other fish in the tank, guys. So there's some clown loach, some checkerboard cichlids, but it's the other, it's the other, not the dwarf checkerboard cichlids, it's the ones that grow bigger and they're stunning. There is a pair of rainbow cichlids and a flag tail. But just look at the colours on these Severins, guys. They are absolutely stunning. And I reckon... I can't wait to go to David's again because I've not actually seen this tank in real life due to lockdown, obviously. Now, I've been to David's quite a few times. David's become a friend of mine. You know, we've met, we met in the fish hobby and we've become good friends, as I said before. But I reckon in, when I go and see this tank, I am going to go wow even more than when I see it on the videos. But yeah, the Severum Cichlid. What can I tell you about the Severum Cichlid, guys, that you probably don't already know? So some fun facts about them. They're from South America, we, you know, they're from South America. They they live in slow-moving rivers, lakes, you know, they like a calmer water. Uh, temperature, again, anything from 22 to 29, which is usually what you hear about for Severums in most regions, to be honest with you. From a pH point of view, they're quite, they're quite hardy in the sense that they can have anything from about 5.5 up to 7. Um, and when it comes to food, they're omnivorous, so... 
they will have love their meaty food, but they'll also love some vegetables as well, like spirulina. I know nowadays that everybody's using spirulina. Um, algae tablets, they algae tablets to leave them, or a bit of cucumber on a fork or whatever, however you do it, but they love them. But I, you know, I myself, I, I love the Severum cichlid and, um, you know, with my big seven foot tank that I had, I had a lot of wild Severums in there. Um, I don't believe it was as nice as this, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it was quite nice. And again, you know, we're very lucky as well in the fact that we have Pier Aquatics over in the Northwest, which is about an hour away from my house. No, it's about 40 minutes away from my house, but it's actually around the corner from David's. So, you know, we're very lucky to have that shot because they ship in the most amazing wild fish. And, you know, I've only ever seen this this group of Severums you've got in this video, in my opinion, you're only like to get, likely to get most of them, if not all of them, any any one time from Pier Aquatics. So we're very lucky to have that shop, and I think most of these will have been purchased from there, if I'm not wrong. Um, but yeah, I mean, my favourite Severum is the Natatus. Um, I love the Natatus because, just because I want the first... Severum I ever really fell in love with was a was a Natatus and it was a fully grown one, very old guy. It was in one of the local fish shops and I went to buy it and when I went, someone who I, I'd actually shared the picture on Facebook, someone who had actually seen the picture went over and bought it before I got there. So I was absolutely gutted and then about a year later, maybe two years later, um, someone I know in the fish shop it, bought it to sell it. So obviously straight away i emailed him and said listen i can't miss out on that fish again um but like i say it was very old i went and picked it up traveled about an hour to go and get it went and picked it up brought it on but it was very very old old and it had a bit of hole in the head but you know what i still wanted to get that seven and it obviously it ended up it ended up losing its life it was very old but i just wanted to own it because like i say it was the first seven i fell in love with and then obviously i met david he loves his severums and we both sell seven tanks, so yeah, you know that's that's brilliant. So I got I I bought some off David, but I mean look at that Inneride there. That Inneride is stunning fish, and he got that from Pier Aquatics. Um, it's huge. I think that's probably around about ten inches, if I'm not mistaken. But what a fantastic fish! With the Severums, they're only likely to get to ten inches. In the wild, you might get to about twelve, maybe a little bit bigger. But in in a tank, you, you, you're lucky if you get them up to ten inches. Some of the other sevens, like the Rock Keel Sev, there's no Rock Keel Sevs in this tank, but some of the Rock Keel Sevs, they only get to about six, eight inches. So it's just, it's it's an absolute brilliant fish to keep. You don't need a massive, massive tank. You could have a pair in, in, in a smaller tank. So for me, it's a very, very good fish to keep. The other thing with this fish as well is it can live with some of your most aggressive fish. So it can live with Oscars, you know. Another aggressive fish. But anyway, guys, I've been going on too long. So let's go and wrap this video up now, guys. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video of Katie's Severum Tank. How stunning is it? Honestly, leave some comments uh, in, the, in the comment box and, and like the video if you liked it, guys. And you know what? Let me know what Severum stock you've got. Anyway, the video's gone on long enough, so I'm going to call it a day there. I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed to the channel and comments and likes. Love it. If you're not subscribed, guys, do us a favour. Come and subscribe and click the bell. And I will see you on the next video.